Since the price of Bitcoin has shot up to $5,000 in early April, Bitcoin price has remained above $5,000 till now. The atmosphere and feeling amongst the crypto community has been very bullish, where some are calling Bitcoin to be exceeding $6,000 or even $7,000 very soon. However, there are some traders who are a bit more cautious and bearish and say that the current small bull drive will be ending soon and an eminent dip is just a week or two away. Some of these bearish traders use Bitcoin historical price and cite that the NVT indicator, also known as the Network Evaluation to Transaction Indicator, is signaling a coming major dip. I also want to highlight that the Bitcoin Golden Cross seems to be about to occur in the next few days. Based on the Bitcoin historical price, the last this Bitcoin Golden Cross occurred was in 2015. So how is this bullish Golden Cross indicator significant to the bearish NVT indicator? How accurate is this NVT indicator in the past and should we be concerned? In this short technical video report, we would like to explore the Bitcoin historical price and this Bitcoin technical indicator. Hello YouTube, I am Eugene with Blockchain360. Today is the 23rd of April 2019. If you find this questions and topic interesting, I highly recommend you watch till the end of this video. So this week's video won't be a long one, it will be a short technical video. Um, in this video, I would like to take the opportunity to introduce you the NVT signal. And this NVT signal, as you can see on Wubble.com, is actually a signal by Willy Wu, the famous uh, trader. Now on his website, he does say that the NVT signal, also known as the Network Value to Transaction signal, is a, actually a derivative of the NVT ratio by Dimitri and which is a famous uh, trader as well. The NVT signal that that Willy Wu has uh, derived is actually the network value which is also the Bitcoin market cap divided by the 90 day moving average of the daily transaction value. Um, we don't need to get too detailed into this uh, how this signal is actually derived but what this signal is basically it is able to give you a indicator whether Bitcoin is overbought or whether it is uh, undersold it is very similar to the PE ratio of a company stock. Now also, as you can see here on really on Google.com, here it states that if let's say Bitcoin is oversold, then its value will be more than 150 Whereas if it's undersold, it will then go down to a value which is below 45. So it's a neat indicator. It seems to be working. So let's say I go to my to the tradingview.com website. Here you can see Bitcoin US dollar on the Bitfinex chart and on this chart I have pulled out the NVT indicator so to do that just go to indicators and search for NVT and here it is and once you pull that out you will notice that the the settings are on 150 for the overbought and 45 for the undersold so once it's overbought it will go on red and if it's on undersold it will be on 
green as, as you can see here. This indicator um, is seems to be working if because if you were to pull back the Bitcoin historical price back in for example back in 2015 when the bitcoin price dropped all the way down to 210 the indicator did turn green in the indicating was over so so if you had followed this indicator and bought it then you will see the price rising in fact when after it had gone through the bitcoin golden cross back in 2000 october 2015 uh, price continued to go up but there was an indication that it was actually still oversold so the green indicator for the w N N V T showed up and that was a good indication that you that we could have bought bitcoin at, at this uh, price range of uh, 400 over uh, in fact the price kept on going up went up and then we had the bull cycle of 2017 and once it reached its peak of uh, of 2017 end of 2017 where the price went all the way up to 18,000 or close to $19,000 okay $19,000 uh, plus we see that the NVT actually went on red meaning it was uh, overbought so if anyone had followed this indicator and sold off then um, you may have been made quite a bit because uh, the next section that turned green was in February that's where the price went down to 6,000 um, if you had gone on further remember where the price was hovering around 6,000 towards the end of 2018 there the NVT indicator was showing red overbought so if you had sold on there then you would uh, see that that would have been a good choice because the price went further down to the 3000s now the the thing is this for the NVT it is currently showing reds uh, as we saw that the price of uh, Bitcoin shot up from for the 4,000, 3,000 range to the current 5,000 range but the NVT indicator is currently showing reds. So could this be a indication that currently the Bitcoin price is actually overbought? Will, will it actually go, go down further? Would it actually start dipping after this? So that could be a consideration. Now the other thing uh, about the NVT as explained on Willy Wu's uh, website is that one way to call for the market tops accurately and also to call the bottoms accurately is to make trend lines on the NVT like as you can see here where once you are able to establish a trend line as the NVT signal goes up and once it breaks that trend line it then basically is an indication that there is a major dip coming so here it is that break here as you can see in this example and also here in this example and also here as you can see in, in this example so once it it goes into the NVT goes into the overbought um, area and if it breaks a trend line that you have established then there will be a down there will be a dip after that okay same goes with the bottoms if let's say it there is a trend line establish a trend line here and if it breaks that trend line going up then um, Biologic, the NVT is actually giving a signal that the price will be going up from, from that break. So if we are to make do the same for the NVT, this is the current price now. It's at 
5,460, maybe go up further. But if let's say we are to establish a trend line from here, let's say, let's say here all the way to here. Okay, so let's say we are establishing a, a trend line here with the signal touching that trend line. Now, so even though now the MVD signal is in the reds and it's still going up, but assuming that the MVT as it goes up, it starts to break down below this trend line, then it could be a more accurate indication that that the Bitcoin price is fizzling out, the bull is uh, tiring out, and then the best may uh, take hold from there. Okay, so this is a possible indication. So do check out this MVT indicator uh, on your trading charts. If it's there, pull it out um, and see whether this makes sense for you. Now the other thing I would like to highlight is that the golden cross is actually coming um, the golden cross is whereby the 50 moving average on the daily chart is cutting above the 200 day moving average as you can see here so once it meets and it crosses we have the golden cross so it is very close now uh, today is the 23rd so I would assume that by tomorrow the two lines will meet and probably the crossover will happen on the 25th or 26th as long as the price continues to rise this is a bullish uh, signal but again we would have to see whether the price would actually continue to go up further or come down due to the bearish NVT signal whereas the golden cross is actually a bullish signal so we'll have to see where that goes but if we are to compare this to Bitcoin's historical price um, as far as the last big, uh, Bitcoin golden cross was to occur it was actually Actually, there were actually two back in 2015 one in July of 2015 and then after that the we had the death cross and then the second Bitcoin golden cross appeared so I would say this one will be more effective as a bullish uh, signal because because the death cross that happened after the first Bitcoin golden cross nullified the first one so making it a, a sort of a, a fake one whereas this second one turned out to be a, a more effective uh, bullish signal so this current this if we look at this bullish signal here it could be an indication that that the price if we are to compare the current price with the 2015 trend it could be that we are currently similar to this stage bullish stage now where the price is actually going up reached a certain resistance which could be similar to the 6000 resistance that we have currently and from there then the price was to go down nevertheless if since we have a bitcoin golden cross here that is a and on top of that, the NVT signal was relatively high, which was also an indication that Bitcoin was overbought. And from there, then price came down. So there is a lot of similarities with that. If I was to look at a post by a trader who calls himself Magic Poop Cannon, he also he made this call where it is actually bearish now because uh, based on his notes he says that the golden cross currently is at peak is coming to the 50 weekly uh, EMA 
but the fact that the cross now is um, an indication that the price is actually peaking with the NVT going reds this is very similar to the golden cross that happened back in 2015 of uh, in July where the NVT was also high and the price was also going up so this uh, could be an indication by Magic Poop Cannon that that due to the similarities he's calling that the price of Bitcoin uh, probably will be going down uh, once it meets that, that resistance as we come towards the end of this technical video I sincerely hope that this technical video has been insightful for you what do you think of this NVT indicator? Do you feel that it is of any concern that the NVT indicator is showing bearish signal now? Do you think that the current Bitcoin price will continue being bullish once after the Bitcoin Golden Cross emerges? Or do you believe that Bitcoin is indeed overbought as indicated by the NVT signal? Please do comment below. Before I go, just want to let you know that I do give free webinars on Bitcoin basics and on the blockchain. In my webinars, I do also introduce FPGA mining with returns of 10% or more monthly. I'm mining with Dunamis Mining. It's transparent, safe and reliable. The reason it is transparent is because Dunamis is a registered and regulated co-location company in the United States. It does not sell mining contracts as per se, but rather high capacity security mining space. Therefore, our mining machines, the co-location service and the low electrical fees of 5 cents per kilowatt hour is charged separately. With the low electrical fees of 5 cents per kilowatt hour, it is then possible to gain more than 10% per month ROI of your machine and co-location service cost. Do explore my free webinars. The link to the webinar schedules are shown in the description below. That is all we have for this video. I sincerely hope you have enjoyed this sharing. If so, please punch the like button. If you have any comments or questions, please post them below. Until the next video, continue hodling and have a fantastic week ahead bye blockchain 360